2015 was a deadly year on Colorado roads, and new data from CDOT shows the number of fatalities jumped to 545 last year. Last night, a 10-year-old was killed when she was involved in a two-car crash in Aurora. Denver 7 reporter Jason Grenauer is live along I-25. And Jason, why such a jump? Well, CDOT says that the majority of the leading causes here were all preventable, including that case that you mentioned from last night. Just a simple act that we're all advised to do. It only takes a few seconds before we get in our car and drive away. CDOT leaders say that could have helped save dozens of lives last year. Now, the total number of traffic fatalities, 545, jumped 10% from 2014 to 2015. CDOT says more drivers on the road as a result of a population boom is one factor to take into account, but the biggest causes here, alcohol involved in 32% of deaths and not wearing your seatbelt, which was a factor in nearly half of the passenger vehicle crashes resulting in a death. One life lost to a bad decision is too many, you know, and, you know, when it is things where people could make a better decision. Use that seatbelt. Take that extra second just to click that on. You know, that's the difference sometimes between living and dying, and definitely the difference between serious injury and maybe just walking away with very minor injuries from a crash. Now, CDOT says they are trying to bring down that number of traffic fatalities, mainly through education. They say new this year on those light-up boards you see when driving along the highways, like here along I-25, they're going to be, ha be having a tally of the total number of traffic deaths so far this year to help drivers get the message. Reporting live along I-25, I'm Jason Grenauer for Denver 7. I certainly hope it helps. All right, thank you, Jason.